Hey guys, our history kid here, and today we're going to be doing a scenario that one of you guys actually suggested, and I gotta say, I actually find the scenario quite interesting, and looking into it was pretty fun, as I had to do with the Austrian Civil War, which I had no idea about until now, and I wish that you guys would look at it soon, but I might just do a video on, you know, after World War One events. But enough with the real history, let's get into the alternate history. See, Hitler and Dolphus were actually two, quite frankly, different people, as one advocated for the complete Greater German Reich, all controlled by one great German people, which was Hitler's idea. Meanwhile, Dolphus believed in a free Christian Austrian state, void of all communists. They did have some similarities, but let's say they switch. Now, you might be wondering, how does this happen? Of course, let's first start with how Hitler ends up in Austria. Now, it all starts with Hitler's dad preaching Austrian ideals, which let's just say he actually believes in this time. He would fall in love with the great Austrian-Hungarian idea, and he would love the empire and most likely fight for it in World War I instead of Germany. Of course, it would dissolve and become completely useless on the world scene, which would really displease Hitler, which would lead to... A different version of the March on Munich instead of March on Vienna, which would actually probably be more successful as, as Austria didn't really have much of an army back then. Austria really was just a bunch of paramilitaries that were meant to protect the country, but really protected the party. And this would lead to the National Socialists taking power in Austria after leading a bloody coup, which would see the old Austrian Republic ousted in favor for a more Nazi regime. Of course, Dolphus, on the other hand, most likely would just decide to go to Germany and somehow become elected leader through the Christian Socialist Party, which, you know, I would make a bigger scenario for, but how much is known about Dolphus before his years, and it's really hard to research him since he's kind of an unknown figure by himself. Of course, after seizing power, a communist coup against the Christian Socialist Party would happen as the communist atheists wouldn't really like all this theocracy stuff, which would lead to a really, really big civil war, which would most likely lead into the division of the two states, as neither of them really could manage an army, as the government really couldn't, you know, have all the manpower since the communists were kind of flaring up everywhere. Meanwhile, the communists wouldn't have the funding that the government would have, so it would really just lead to the division. Dolphus would create the new Christian Prussian kingdom. Meanwhile, the communists would form the Bavarian Socialist Republic. Of course, this would lead to France carving out its own state, the Rhine Republic, after attacking the communists because nobody really wants a commie on their border now, am I right? Meanwhile, Italy would most likely make an alliance with Austria as they were both fascists and Austria would annex or Angelus Hungary and seize the Czechoslovakia lands and then invading Czechoslovakia because that's what Hitler does, he breaks treaties. And then they had planned an invasion of Yugoslavia as that was a big part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Of course, just like in our timeline, when Germany tried to go for the big, big whale, they didn't really go well until like World War II. And this would happen in our timeline with them going after Yugoslavia. Of course, Yugoslavia would fall as it was in a political chaos at the time with communists, Tito, and all that nonsense. Of course, this would also bring in Poland and Romania, as they would see, yeah, they were trying to make the whole Hungarian thing, and they would know, yeah, they're going to attack us. Of course, they would get invaded, because that's what you do when you join the Allies, and France and Britain would join in their support. And this would lead to Italy declaring war as well, as it, you know, wanted stuff, and this would just keep making the war even bigger. Of course, instead of Germany signing a pact with the Soviets like it did in this time, instead... Austria makes a pact with the Christian Prussian Kingdom and or Republic. I'm not sure if Dolphus would have picked a kingdom or not. Anyways, the fact of the matter is that Poland's dead again because it just does that sometimes. Of course, it would take some time, but it would fall. And this would lead to the Bavarian Republic declaring war on, you know, the Christians since they want to reclaim Germany. But of course, this wouldn't really, you know, work in their favor as they would get pushed back since our two main superpowers in this war kind of just sat back. That is until Neville Chamberlain just kind of died. 
And, you know, that sucks and all. Except for this would leave a really, really bad vacuum. As Britain had been spared the horrors of war until now, since Germany hadn't taken out France. This would lead to Winston Churchill not being able to, you know, rise to power using the hate of Germany, and some other leader declaring no war with Germany. Of course, with the Bavarian Republic being the only one mobilized right now, this would lead to the Bavarians being heavily pushed in on, and along with chaos with Nazi sympathizers and Christian sympathizers, it would cause a complete collapse of government. Of course, with every other power out of the war, it's most likely that France would either sue for peace or be completely crushed, which I'm sure they'll choose option two, since they just won the Great War and are really proud of it. Then they would most likely decide to invade the Soviet Union, since that was Hitler's main war goal. Of course, Germany's main three problems during the invasion was oil, Britain, and the snow that would come and completely destroy every, the entire German army. But of course, with Britain gone and suing for peace, this would leave them, you know, not being bombed sometimes. And with Britain being a friend and them having control over French colonies, I doubt oil would be a problem. And of course, with, you know, the whole problems that Germany had in our timeline compared to what they have now, it's easy to say that the Soviet Union would not win this war of attrition. And this would lead to the establishment of Vinci, France, and since Finland would help Germany during the invasion, since the Winter War still does happen, that would mean that Finland would gain St. Petersburg, Bulgaria would become Byzantium, and Italy would become the new Roman Empire. Of course, Hitler would betray Adolphus and invade both Denmark, Germany, and Norway, creating a greater Austrian Empire. Of course, that's the end of the scenario for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope the person who uh, requested it, you know, found it interesting. Remember to like if you like the content, subscribe if you want to see more, as I do post at least weekly, and comment, you know, any part you might have disagreed with me at, or any part you liked, or any scenario you might want me to do. I do appreciate and read your comments. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye.